The last few years have been tumultuous for the world economy. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to deliver economic shocks in different parts of the world. And we must now brace for, for the fallout from the war in Ukraine. The horrendous suffering and loss of life in Ukraine is heartbreaking. The economic reverberations of this conflict will extend far beyond Ukraine's borders. It's now clear that the double whammy of the pandemic and the war has disrupted supply chains, increased inflationary pressures, and lowered expectations for output and trade growth. These events and the enormous uncertainty they have created make for a complex forecasting environment. We would now expect world merchandise trade volumes to grow by about 3% in 2022. This is 1.7 percentage points down from the 4.7% growth we forecast last October. Trade growth in 2023 is estimated at 3.4%. The forecast projects that global GDP at market exchange rates will grow by 2.8% in 2022, down from the 4.1% projected prior to the war. But given the fluid situation, we estimate that merchandise trade volume growth in 2022 could be as low as 0.5% or as high as 5.5%. The most immediate economic effect of the war has been a sharp spike in the prices of food, energy, fertilizer, and some important minerals for which Ukraine and Russia are key suppliers to world markets. A potential food crisis is looming. We have an extremely difficult set of circumstances in the global economy. So going from very strong global demand in 2021, in fact, Global demand was so strong, it put significant pressure on um, disrupted supply chains. To what we're looking for in 2022 and perhaps continuing into 2023 is much weaker demand due to inflation having adverse impacts on consumer expenditures, probably a retrenchment of fiscal policy. Global trade is often driven by GDP growth, we have a significant reduction in uh, global GDP growth compared to the previous forecast. And investment is often a big driver. Interestingly, in 2021, consumption was a big driver of, glo of global trade and global GDP growth. Um, those are all uh, now subject to significant uncertainty. We've had these three major shocks. We started with uh, global trade conflicts in 2017, then we've had extended COVID disruptions and now we have war. So um, the interesting thing from my perspective as chief economist here is the resilience of global trade to all of these uh, disruptions. Um, and we continue to expect trade to grow this coming year, despite the fact that it'll be much weaker than we thought. Um, so trade remains resilient, and I, I think that's important to realize. There's a lot of talk about decoupling and different trading spheres. Uh, and, and uh, this impacting supply chains. We need to stand back a bit and uh, take a deep breath and try to remember, uh, you know, multilateralism and multilateral trade and the multilateral trading system, what it has been able to deliver. It's been challenged now. There's absolutely no doubt about that. There's a big challenge. This organization and multilateral institutions were created for, to, to integrate countries to create interdependence which would lead to peace. But that should not lead us to draw the wrong conclusions, that the way to now move forward is to break into these different uh, trading spheres. Um, because I think the costs to the global economy uh, will be quite significant.